Craigslist may be a great way to sell off unwanted stuff, but it's also a great way for robbers to rip off your merchandise and your cash. Robbers may respond to your ad, then steal your stuff, or even put up a fake ad so you contact them. Nine Your Sides' Craig Smith has tips to keep buyers and sellers safe. John Six has made plenty of pretty good deals through Craigslist, but one night he got ripped off. Really ripped off. He arranged a meeting at this Walgreens to sell a DVD player. It was a quick transaction, so at least I thought anyway. The car pulled in onto my passenger side. The lady walked around to the driver's side while I was putting my pay attention on her. A man came through the driver passenger side door, pulled out the DVD player, and ran behind the Walgreens. The shock of the surprise snatch and grab gave the woman time to jump in her car. drive off. He was lucky he just lost some merchandise. He could have lost his life. In the Indianapolis area, two unrelated Craigslist deals led to four murders. Iraq war veteran James Vester was killed after he answered a Craigslist ad for an iPad he planned to give his parents for Christmas. In another case, in the same city, this man was charged with murdering someone trying to sell an iPhone, then charged with murdering two witnesses. Crimes like that have prompted some police departments to offer their stations as safe places to meet and make your deals. Tucson police have not set up formal safe zones, but TPD Sergeant Pete Dugan says it is not a bad idea to use one of their parking lots as a place to make your Craigslist deal and take precautions wherever you choose to meet. Uh, definitely bring somebody with you. Uh, do it in a well-populated area or during the daytime. Uh, definitely don't do any kind of deal in your car because it's uh, nobody can see what's actually going on inside of a vehicle. This is TPD's Hardesty substation. It's at 22nd Street and Alvernon. And even though it's a busy place and it even has an emergency call box, police say it's a good idea to finish any deals in a place like this in the daytime because places like the substations can still get quiet at night. John Six hopes his experience will help keep Craigslist users safe. He and police say just the idea of meeting at a police station is probably enough to drive off a bad guy. Obviously they don't want nothing to do with the police department either because the item is hot or they have something wrong. You know, they have a warrant for their arrest or something or they have one intention to try to get what you got and not have to, you know, to pay for it. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.